Today we're making the most amazing air fryer bread. These rolls are soft, delicious, and whip up so easily. No store-bought bread comes even close to the softness and flavor of these rolls. If you love bread making, you have to add this recipe to your collection. It's a crowd pleaser and you cannot go wrong with soft, buttery bread. I wanted to develop a recipe that would make exactly nine rolls that would fit perfectly in your air fryer basket. I felt there's no point in designing a recipe where you have to cook the bread in batches. If you're having to do multiple batches, I think it defeats the purpose of using the air fryer. At that point, just use a regular oven. That being said, double this recipe if you wish. Use an oven if you wish. These rolls are truly amazing. I'm using my stand mixer today. I've combined together the flour and salt, and I've gone ahead and added the water and yeast. You want to knead this dough on medium high for a good five minutes before adding the butter. It's really important to allow that gluten to develop. Butter inhibits gluten, so it's important to add it at the end if you want that springy, tender texture. By the way, the full written recipe will be in the description box below and on my website emmafontanella.com and if you're new to my channel hello there welcome if you're enjoying this video consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell once you've added the butter put the mixer on medium low otherwise it will splatter everywhere and then you're going to increase the speed to high most probably the dough will stick to the bottom of the mixer don't be afraid to stop the mixer and just get in there with your hands and wrap the dough around the hook. You want to continue kneading the dough until the butter is fully incorporated. This will take about five minutes. Your dough should look smooth and supple. If it does not look like this, continue to knead the dough. You're going to form a ball as best you can and transfer the dough to your grease bowl. You want to oil both sides, cover with plastic wrap or a damp kitchen towel, and you want to let this dough rise for two hours. Hours. I don't know where you live, but it is getting cold here, and usually in fall and winter, breads do need a good two hours to proof properly. And now when I say grease the basket, I mean grease it heavily, okay? The first time I made this bread, I was so upset it stuck to the basket. You could also just put a piece of parchment paper on the bottom of the basket. That would be best. You want to divide the dough into nine equal rolls and cover these as you're shaping the rolls. We don't want these to dry out. Now there's two ways you can shape the rolls. You can tuck the bottom in. How, do you, how would you say that? You can tuck the dough into the bottom and roll into a ball or just tuck the bottom and you're good to go. There's your roll. You're going to place these onto your basket or if you're planning on using a traditional oven, Place these onto a well-buttered baking dish, leaving enough space between each roll. Cover these and these need to rise again for another 45 minutes. Patience is key. If you want the most delicious bread, you have to be willing to wait. By the way, the air fryer is off at this point. After 45 minutes, these should have plumped up beautifully. You're going to take some egg wash, it's just a beaten egg and milk, and gently brush the top of each roll. Now I would take the basket out of the air fryer when doing this, otherwise you're gonna have scrambled eggs on the bottom of your air fryer. Scrambled eggs and buns. It's a new breakfast. Sounds delicious. No, it does not. <laughs> now you don't have to preheat your air fryer. You can just bake these as is at 150 degrees Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. Now I know these look amazing and I know you want to eat these right away, but before you do, there is one last thing to do. You have to brush these with melted butter. The hot buds will absorb the butter and these will be some of the best dinner rolls you'll ever have. If you've gone through the trouble of making these and you're not going to brush these with melted butter, you might as well have not made these. I'm just saying. Allow these to sit for at least 10 minutes and allow that butter to seep in. Just 10 more minutes. That, that's all I'm asking. Enjoy these warm. These are great with dinner. These are great by themselves. I eat these with nothing. Just pure carb goodness. There's nothing better than freshly made bread.